Ella, we're once back again playing more Baldur's Gate 3, but I am tra enacting the grand design and transforming every NPC that I'm coming across, or most of them at least, into mind flares. Such as Lump the Enlightened, or Timber, or Damon, Zevlor, Anti Ethel. And we were just about to head into the goblin camp to start wreaking havoc in there. Uh, I had a comment a couple of videos ago. Uh, mention a mod called the, uh, it's like the Ring of, uh, the Elder Gods or something. Comes with a bunch of other stuff, but essentially it's, a uh, another powerful mod along the lines of the Illithid mod that I've already been using that includes a great many of powerful abilities. We'll see if I use any of them. I Honestly, I just want to break the game and have fun. So, let's go. Okay, Saz is gonna let us in. Well, look what the rat dragged in. Can it? I know something Ragslin will want to hear. Mm. Yeah. Odd. Hold on. Dead. Bragslin. She'll be. Hold on. Is it true what Saz says? You helped her escape that grove. Behave. That's enough. Come on. All right. Well, Saz, uh, I know you want us to go in there, but instead, I'm gonna start uh, transforming everyone in this immediate vicinity. Let's also come over here and pick up these uh, three goblins over here to also. Transform. Oh, we'll transform them all. Somewhat right after one after another. I think I'll give all of them the Gale transformation so that they, they all look about the same so we can kind of see which ones generally are coming from this group of random goblins that I just found. And like that, we have just that many more, uh, illithid. If I press this, we can bring everyone else with us. Now on to the rest of the goblin camp. <laughs> oh, lovely, this cutscene. A voice says Eris is no vision cloud. Well, I mean, you can see the other mind flares sitting around in the background, I guess. How is it shielding us? And why? Anisterion. Whatever. Alright. And we continue. I did not know that if Volo is otherwise missing, that Gribbo takes his place. Oh, until Volo makes his way up there. Or is saying, hey, take the front row. Well, let's make more friends and mind flares, shall we? I'll be back as soon as I've transformed the camp, per se. Alright, I don't have all of them yet, but I think I'll start transforming them, and then I'll go inside and deposit them in there, so that if I end up fighting them out here, they're not as spread out. I could just more easily. Destroy them all in one go. If you know what I mean. All right. Decided to deposit them over by the, uh, the blighted village because I found that they that if I let just leave them. At the goblin camp, they just wander outside if I go inside of the temple there. Which is fine. I'd rather they sit over here. Anyway. Alright, I've deposited everybody, but I think I will be leaving. They just keep on repeating the same lines over here. 
real fun. I think she's struggling to path to her uh, dedicated booze barrel thing over there. Well, to continue to transform even more uh, goblins into mind flares. I don't know how they've managed it, but they somehow transported themselves over here. Hmm. Annoying. I wonder what happens if I talk to Crusher after having transformed him. Fresh disarming bearings. We couldn't pick these humans. And who are you? As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Hmm. If but no, you better go on. Kiss more foot. Or I'll wipe that nasty look right off your face. Okay. You kneel before him, eagerly feigning reverence. Good! Yeah! Good! But with one quick snatch, you envelop a toe in your fell maw. The trickster! Ah! ah, lovely. The toe Turns out I can, uh, cave aged. bite off an Elithid's toe gristle. as a kobold. I'll teach you some respect! Ah, uh, apparently I'm being currently taught respect. Yes. I feel very respecting. Alright. Let's resurrect this dead adventurer and also... Bring him into the group. All right, let me just transform the rest of these goblin children and goblins into more mind flares. Well, I don't know how I've managed it, but all of my allies are, for some reason, aggressive to me. Despite literally being under my control. Sometimes just doing certain things does that. There's a way to fix it. Uh, let me just uh, get over there and start adding things that are. Have to keep going. <laughs> oh, my freaking things are doing. I should be able to fly. Come on. Path is interrupted. Come on. Just let me go through. Come on. First step is the hardest. Right. Oh my gosh, it's having me do this with all of them. Alright, I will be back when I get this figured out. Time has come. How have I managed this? Great. I, while attacking the goblin camp, have somehow convinced the druids to start attacking the tieflings. Lovely. Gotta love when things just are getting progressively worse. Yeah, everybody's aggressive. So great. Everybody, oh gosh. How did you get untransformed, Auntie Ethel? Well, 
Auntie Ethel's got to get herself re retransformed here real quick. She still has all of her abilities, too. And this is what happens when you just on my way. screw up at the wrong time. Come on. We're going inside. Can't use this right now. Fine. Yeah. We'll, we'll, I'll get back to it when I clear this up. If I clear this up. I miss this. Appear to be fighting each other. In the blighted village. This one's for the absolute. Oh jeez. Everyone is being dangerous. Hey! As I said... Transforming everybody into mind flares and then pissing them off is a great way to... make everything very dangerous very quickly. Chances are, not very many people will survive after the mess that I just caused. And honestly, I'm here for it, because this is hilarious. I don't think I'll be clearing this up in the end, I guess. Because I now have to systematically eliminate every friggin' mind flare in this area before they systematically eliminate me. Damn it. Not enough movement. I mean, this is... What's his name? The Alight? There we go. I'm a little bit annoyed that worked on the Albert Cub. When it very much should not have hurt the, uh, the Albert Cub. Basically, every ally of mine decided that it every other ally is an enemy now oh my wounded bird no you were my resurrection then time to push my luck again oh am i even in the fight all right who isn't in the fight Oh, a bunch of them now aren't even in the fight. Volo is just knocked out or stunned or something. I 
can't pick him up with this character. Sterion's probably occupied as well. Hey, I'm gaining experience just for sitting here. Come on. You can't stay idle. Now, the face spider. I don't know how that thing's dying. Unless the space spiders are literally fighting each other. Which, in that case, that's actually a little bit funny. Like, I don't know how I... am on both sides of this conflict. I am controlling people on both sides of the fight here. Somebody just purged a huge group. This is a little bit annoying, because uh, th this also is technically my uh, whole thing kind of self-destructing right now. And that's not really what I needed. Oh, yeah, you had that ring. Can I not kill with this? Or do I have freaking non-lethal on? Oh, no wonder. That makes sense. Okay. I wonder if this is worth the cost. Alrighty, time to... Eliminate the threat here with fun spells. What one do we want? Okay, uh, here. All of you. Fine. All of you die. Okay. Interesting. Come down there. And visit them. Maybe use some more power word kill on these all. Because clearly they lost their life privileges. After, well... Deciding that because I woke up some goblin up here, that everyone has to die. Which is a little bit annoying. I, didn't, I really didn't want to have to do this. But like, how is Asterion also aggressive to me?
Okay, lovely. I'm a little bit annoyed how many of my own people I have to kill here. May even be worth just reloading. Ah, oh, lovely. The owlbear somehow got involved. Man, look at how many... ...dead. All because of this. Behold the dance of death. Ah, darn it. This spiraled out of control really quickly. Or, in other senses, it escalated ridiculously fast. I woke up a goblin, and then everyone got pissed at everyone else. Somehow, every character is mad at everyone else. And surprise, surprise, if you give every NPC the powers of an Alithid, they are much more powerful than normal. <laughs> and apparently just destroyed six different enemies at once. Lovely. Now, what's mainly annoying is that my own allies are pissed at me for no reason. I don't even know how half these people who are halfway across the map are even involved in this fight. I've seen a similar bug before with like... Nothing will stand in my way. Things. I don't know how Asteria and my character are considered to be enemies in this situation. The owlbear is doing something. The owlbear cub is dead, unfortunately. Well, so much for peace. <laughs> Great, I'm at the kill. Frickin'. All right, game. I will kill Lump the Enlightened. If that is what will appease you. There you go. Lump the Enlightened is dead. And I'm sad that I had to kill so many of my own allies. For some reason, Silver the, dog, the Wolf is fine, though. Yes. Leave from combat. Darion, are you still mad at me? I mean, I can level up. Sterion's still sitting there. No. No. I've got a yep. long road ahead. Oh, good. At least all the corpses of everyone are here. It's actually helpful because I have this nifty spell. Way down here. Can't even catch my breath. Uh, 
Ah. Please don't. I okay. I'm tired of this. They're just randomly trying to kill. Are they like all throwing health potions? At timber. Okay. This would indicate that I'm like allies with everyone, but. Clearly, I'm not, so I'm gonna have to do it like this. The only way out is through. Didn't want to do that one. Okay, come on. Power word kill. I'll bet you. Shall I cut and run? Who are they pissed at? Like, I, I can't even, rec like, leave from here. Because they're fighting over nothing. They're throwing health potions at Timber for some reason. I I think I'm going to have to reload then because th that went about as poorly as it could have. And, of course, I didn't say until yay all my progress is gone yep well I'm glad I was at least in tactician mode where I can reload in honor mode I would have to deal with the consequences of whatever that nonsense was I don't even know why I was fighting myself. Next time, I, I need to avoid uh, doing that. And we got effectively nowhere. Hooray. The last hour has been a waste for me. It's only been it like half an hour of recording, though. Um, well, one could say that that was a bunch of nonsense that happened in a multiverse that's not this one. And, uh, next time we will go through and actually deal with the goblin camp without causing a civil war that destroys everybody in the goblin camp, the freaking... Blighted Village and Emerald Grove. Next time. Now with that, uh, I thank you for watching. I would love it if you liked. I'd love it even more if you subscribed, but I mean... I, I hope that you enjoyed this video, or at least you found some parts of it funny. I certainly had an interesting time. I'm a little bit annoyed that I lost progress. It was, a, it was a bit of wasted time. And I hope it doesn't get as wa much wasted next time. And with that, I bid, I bid you adieu. Uh, goodbye.